So I'm going to make a faux leather um, card cover and just using um, embossing folder from Stampin' Up. It's a honeycomb. Um, I've seen similar uh, made by other makers, but this one was on clearance. Aha! My magic word. And lots of distress inks. I'm using a Recollections uh, card stock right now because it's what I have handy. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is set the paper out of the way. On the side that has the, the writing on it, that's going to be the front face of the um, embossing. I want to um, lay down some color on the, um, on the inside of it. This is going to do a pre-color when I run it through the embossing, or through the uh, Big Shot. So, taking some orange. I'm not really caring if I get streaks because leather is kind of streaky. Um, but I'm trying to brighten up, in this case I'm trying to brighten up the color of the cardstock and kind of tone it down a little bit more. Make it a little more honey colored, or um, amber colored. Alright. And. Vintage linen. Uh, that first one was, I think it's marmalade or something like that. This one's vintage linen. I have uh, 12. Distress inks. So that's all I have at the at this time. I've got uh, sets one, two, and three. They fit nicely in one of the tins. Okay, and now for the big shotting. You want tab one, so feed your tab through. So you're on tab one. I need a cut plate, two cut plates, or you know, one for the bottom, one for the top. You need to place your paper in. This one is cut to four by five and a half inch, which is a standard A2 card stock, card whatever. <laughs> okay, and then run it through. The cardstock I'm using is 65 pound uh, Recollections value paper, value cardstock, mostly because it's handy and it's inexpensive. And move the big shot out of the way. You won't see a huge amount of difference with the color, because I'm using a brown color cardstock, but there is a slight color difference. There's the back, and there's the front with the this uh, coming up. And I always clean my embossing folder right away. But there is a slight bit of color that's in the in the depression in this. You would see it if there was if it wasn't a brown. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to start with my lightest brown, which happens to be vintage photo. The dauber pads, the mini dauber pads fit perfectly in the the minis. Okay, again, I'm not really worrying about getting it smooth. I just want to get an all over color. The reason for using so many distress inks is you want to get it kind of a you want it a variegated color. You don't want it a, a smooth, easy color because leather doesn't have a smooth, easy color. You'll see some of the ink is pooling on the edges, which is exactly where you want it. In this case, you also want to kind of get it into the into the depressions. And not just have it up on the on the um, embossed. 
I want it in the debossed areas too. And all over. I make my own music. Actually, usually while I'm crafting, I'm uh, watching videos or uh, movies, marathoning TV shows on Netflix. Netflix is your friend. I would have even more things I could watch on there if I could still watch it in the U.S. The watch U.S. Can, um, Netflix from Canada. Okay. Oh, this is the darker walnut stain. This is part of, I think it's set three. I love distressing. Beautiful, rich colors. I've got more on order. But I can't get them. I need to there's a lot of colors, and I can't get them all at once. And I'm a completionist, so I'm getting them in order. <laughs> Partly so I don't have to remember which ones I have and which ones I don't have. If I know I have one, two, three, and now I'm getting four, five, six, then I don't have to worry about, oh, do I have fired brick, or do I have... Uh, now, some orange, um, marmalade? Spiced marmalade. That sounds good. I like the color because it's not super orange. I mean, it is orange, but it's not. It's got some other dimension to it. Okay. And this is warming up the. Um, warming up those browns. It's not as easy to see it itself, but you see it in this on this uh, application, but you see how it's warming it up. Okay, there's the original. No, I'm putting this back. And this is where we're at right now. Now I'm going to add a little bit of uh, fired brick. into the color. This you will see some of the red coming through. Don't worry, everything all blends together. Yeah, you know, it's another thing I love about the uh, distressing because they blend so beautifully together. Unfortunately, for video, I have to keep one of my one of the um, lights that's best for my eyes. I have to keep it off to the side because otherwise it'll have big hot spots. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. I have no indicator that this is still taking video, so hopefully it is. Okay. Um, I'm going to go over it with um, yellow, which kind of mellows some of that red out. Kind of brightens some of the colors up again. Again, it's just blending and blending. Being aware of what colors kind of go into what goes into leather. Yeah. Letting your fingers get mucky. Oops. And now I'm going to go over this with vintage. Again, it just kind of smooths out a little bit. I didn't quite have that patch.
Okay. And now, just because I want some more of the dark er, this is the medium brown. Or this is that uh, vintage photo, kind of a medium brown. Oh wait, I grabbed the wrong one. Like that didn't look like it. Do do do. That one's my darker walnut stain. This is the vintage photo. Really nice. Okay. And then, da, da, da. water. Just plain water in a mini mister, which means it doesn't it doesn't shoot out too too much water at one time. Let it sit a second. Wash off my fingers a second. You can see the colors kind of are doing kind of this weird, lovely, meldy thing. Okay, and then I'm just going to take a lot away some of the water. Use a heat gun, heat tool. Going in some of that water. And now only thing I don't like about and it's the cardstock. It gives me this weird some weird dots. That's okay. Oops. Come along and gonna and now to finish the edges. I'm going to take the, uh, that was good, Kate. This is a walnut stain. Just taking it along the edges. And try not to get on your fingers too much. <laughs> it out quite nicely. So now even your edges have this nice little finish to them. You could do that even deeper and give them a little bit more of a kind of a burnout effect. But, ta-da! And there's the back side. A little, bit of a little bit of color got onto the back side, but that shows you the original color. And 
here's a couple others I did. These were done with the Recollections, and this was done with uh, Stampin' Up Caramel, which is a thicker card stock, and, oh, there's the original. This is the original. This is the original. Um, everyone will turn out a little bit different. I kind of like the look better with the um, caramel color paper, but I didn't have any other caramel color paper. And I'm running. But, there you go.